Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Shopping for My Skin. I am so glad to be doing this first episode. Like, I am just so excited to be sharing like this knowledge that I basically like just researched on my own and like tried to like piece together and whatever. So basically, um, if you've watched this um sort of series trailer, you'll see that I was basically telling you like how shopping for my skin will basically be um a couple of episodes where by I tell you like okay if you want to sort of shop on this budget or you want to sort of shop in bulk or you want to sort of go for these high-end products but you're not really sure what to double in stay tuned for the next episodes that are going to be coming and I am going to be giving you knowledge of how to shop for your skin on your own budget so for today's episode um i'm going to be titling this um the skincare routine budget specifically i'm going to be titling it on the low now this is my first um category this is the first category and basically all these products that i'm gonna list for you you can actually go buy them for approximately like 120 no no more than 150 guys no more than 150 and basically i'm talking about getting yourself serums masks sheet masks everything cleansers scrubs everything even spf guys you can all shop for that for under 150 it is possible guys it is possible now i have um done this research myself so if there's any sort of like um discrepancies where um maybe i'll say something is like 12 rand and maybe you go to shops and it's like 12 rand 50 i am sorry for that for like these are the prices that i found specifically and i made sure to sort of like not just look at one shop but look at like the general shops and then i saw that okay it is the price that is listed here okay so we're gonna basically start off with like um let me first explain to you. I'm going to be listing clean the cleansers, the scrubs, the um masks, and then the toner, sheet masks, serums, moisturizer, and SPF. So you are going to be getting all those products for just above. I think it's like 92 cents. 92 cents above 120. Honestly. So the first thing is the gentle magic bar cleansing soap now this cleansing soap is 9 rand 99 and it is so affordable and i have people i think my cousin used it once yeah i remember a time when i still used to live with her she was using gentle magic and she said that it specifically worked for her and if you're looking not to for, for something that will not um make you break the bank for like a cleanser this is a cleansing bar that you can use for 9.99 and then you have the Kitakura scrub bar for 15.99 Kitakura is actually something that was recommended to me by one of my um hostel mates so um as you guys know you still live in hostel like a big boarding house whatever and like there was a lot of girls and obviously like when you're like struggling with like your skin and whatever you'll get a lot of recommendations from other girls telling you like oh you should use this or whatever and this was actually um recommended by one of my um senior hostel mates and she said you should really use Kitakura because it does work for you and like being me me being me i said no i'm not gonna use it like i have my products that i'm using already but i really really genuinely feel that i should have used it back when my skin was like terrible terrible horrible so yeah it is a scrub bar so it comes as a bar but it's a scrub and it is 15 rand 99 
and then you have your young solution mask for 10 rand 99 now this is a mask whereby um if you're looking to get all those impurities sucked out of your skin it's a mask that you can um basically on your damp skin put it on wait for it to like sort of dry and then wash it off again and it um comes at 10 rand 99 somebody who used um one of the girls in hostel once again used young solution but she um used um the cleanser the cleanser yeah the cleanser not the mask but like since it's in the same brand i'm very sure that it works like how it worked for her and her skin was good her skin was good it was kept under control and then after that you have the evening and lovely green tea toner which is 13 rand 99 now this is a very affordable toner because if you sort of like browse through toners you will see that because it's a very um it's a product that is how can i say it your skin needs it sort of like to sort of balance some of them give balance to the ph some of them sort of um shrink your pores so that you have like smaller i don't say shrink your pores make your pores less visible let me say that instead so yeah this is a toner infused with green tea and it's for 13 rand 99 and then you have your sorbet sheet mask this is i would say the most expensive thing on my list and it is 29 rand 99 now for sheet mask what you do once you've put on your toner and it's dried right you take a sheet mask and you would basically put it on your face let it rest there for like 10 to 20 minutes um however however long it says on the package and um after that you take it off and then all the extra serum that's left in the packet you scoop it out put it on your face and then it will absorb in and it's a very good um way to put moisture in your skin and to sort of treat um skin troubles and with sobe i have used quite a lot of the skin products whether it be like um on my face or on my whole body i have use quite a lot of um sobe stuff so like sobe is a brand that i really trust and then you have the um even and lovely moisturizing cream which is 11 rand 99 guys i don't think i'll ever find a cream that is cheaper for that cheaper than that for like your face because literally creams are so expensive they give you like 50 mils and then it'll be like 100 and something but like what i like about this even and lovely cream is that it is in like if you're using it in conjunction with the even and lovely green toner it's very good to use um products from like the same brand so that like they sort of complement each other and then after that you have the um sobe mini cleansing pads for 19 rand 99 now this is you can use like at the beginning of like your skincare routine if you're somebody who after a long day of like wearing makeup you want to take it off obviously you'll just sort of um take the cleansing pads and sort of like just rub off the makeup and everything on your eyes on your face everywhere and then as i said like sobe is a very trustworthy brand and then for a serum you have the gentle magic serum for 26 rand 99 i don't think i have ever experienced a serum that cheap like that affordable guys a serum that affordable because serums most of the times come in 30 milliliter like um packaging so you're getting like something really tiny and they sell it off for like starting from like 100 rand to like 250 30 mils guys 30 mils this is even smaller than the moisturizing cream i was talking about which is 50 mils but like the good thing is that with serums in general you don't use a lot like you sort of like put one two pumps on your like palm and then you're done so this is the gentle magic serum and then once you're done 
with that you know you have to put spf on your skin sunscreen sun lotion on your screen uh, on your screen on your skin you literally literally need it whether even if you're just staying in the house you need it because like like the the brightness from your phone or from your laptop or the light from like the normal lighting in your house that also counts as like light towards your face even if you're not going out into direct sunlight outside you still need spf and so i used to buy these every sun um they come in sachets sunscreen sachets and they're for 10 rand 99 and it's a very good um deal if you sort of like the person who sees that yo uh uh I can't afford like the whole bottle of sunscreen. I used to personally do that until like last year where I bought myself a bottle of um sunscreen. Before that I used to use these sachets. Yeah, I used to use these sachets um before I bought myself like a normal sunscreen lotion because sunscreen lotion is quite expensive. So before um I I like invested in the sunscreen i used to use these sachets and they would actually last me because i'd like use one sachet for like i think like a week and a half and this is like applying it every day when i used to go out into the sun because you don't need that much you just need like a little dollop and then you just sort of put it on your face after you've applied after you've applied your moisturizing cream and then you sort of like protect it to go out into the sun anytime and then yeah this total skincare routine costs a hundred and twenty and ninety two cents everything so if you're the type that's been seeing people on youtube like the serums and moisturizers and everything and you want to like invest in the type of skincare routine you can have this for 120 rand literally and i am um this is my first episode that i am doing and this is called on the low this is my number one budget sort of category one on the low and the next episode that i will do will be episode two where i will show you a sort of alternative to i can say this category one skincare routine where it'll be more i'll give you more options that you can still use staying under 250 though and i hope that you enjoyed this first episode i hope that um it's something that people who don't want to actually break the bank or don't, can't afford all those like expensive products that everybody like recommends and stuff and like you generally do want to take care of your skin but like it's like so much that it costs like an arm and a leg literally so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this i hope that you stick around that you subscribe um that you join me for episode two. Bye. Bands always been the MO since the start of this, and now I'm on a mission like a martyr. Miss A. We gon' turn the crib into a club like.